Hello, we are discussing about gate 2010 EC paper. Look at the signal flow graph given and we are going to find out the state variable representation of the given signal flow graph. Okay. We know the state variable representation as x dot is equal to ax plus bu general state, uh, state variable equations of a system okay. and y is equal to cx plus du. So we are going to find out a b c d matrices from the signal flow graph and you are going to write it in the usual definition of x dot and y. So out of four options which one will be the right answer for the given signal flow graph that we are going to find. And before going for assigning variables for the signal flow graph we need to find what happens whenever 1 by s is going to be multiplied. Okay. So let us see if you are going with dx by dt x is a variable dx by dt take Laplace transform with initial conditions as 0. So after taking Laplace transform it will be equal to s times of x of s. Remember it is with initial conditions is equal to 0 and similarly if you take x into integral of x into dt with initial conditions 0 after taking Laplace transform it will be 1 by s into x of s. So if x of s is multiplying with s then that will be dx by dt that is differentiation of x is simply multiplying with s in the s domain for the x of s. Similarly if you multiply with 1 by s that will be equal to integration of that variable. Okay. So otherwise if you are going to make integration of integration of differentiation of x that is taking Laplace transform. Integration means 1 by s, differentiation means s into x of s. So s s and get cancels what you will get is simply x of s. Okay. If you are going with integration of differentiation of x, integration differentiation both are uh, opposite of each other so that they will get cancelled and you are going to get a simple variable. So wherever 1 by s is indicated at that time we can say okay we can say integration is going to be taking place. Okay. So if you assume, now I am going with the variable allotment. So say it is x1. If it is x1 and this is going through 1 by s and output is x1. Output is x1 that is nothing but before this one you will have dx1 by dt. dx1 by dt is indicated as x1 dot. x1 dot means dx by dt dx1 by dt if it is integrated you will get x1 and next this is 1 by x this is again 1 by s and we don't go for the double differentiation we will use it as x2 both are going to be same x1 dot is nothing but x2 and x2 you will get whenever you integrate differentiation of x2 so this is x2 dot so the variable present over here I am assuming it as x2 dash variable present over here is x1 dash and x1 dash and x2 both are going to be same only because we are referring to same node. So x1 dot first important point is x1 dot is equal to x2 remember this one. Okay. Now we are going to write the state variable equations by going through x1 dot and x2 dot equations later we will write the y. Okay. First x1 dot x1 dot node x1 dot node is nothing but you can write x1 dot is equal to whatever the incoming arrows that you must consider don't consider the outgoing arrows okay consider only incoming arrows to rather uh, to write the x1 dot equation so x1 dot is equal to okay x1 dot is equal to 1 by s times of 1 by s times of Okay, x2 dot 1 by s times of x2 dot that is this equation I am going with. Incoming is x2 dot into 1 by s okay, minus x1. This is again the incoming arrow is it is starting from x1. x1 is multiplying with a gain of minus 1. So this will be minus x1. So you can write it as x1 dot is equal to 1 by s differentiation differentiation integration get cancels you will get the same x2 so this is x2 minus x1 so you can write it as minus x1 plus x2 which is nothing but x1 dot next x2 dot 
x2 dot is nothing but for this node you must consider only incoming arrows so incoming arrow it is coming from the first that is first incoming arrow if you look at this one x1 with gain minus 1 is coming towards this node so minus x1 next there is no other one and it is directly coming from the u of s so 2 times of u of s is the another arrow so plus 2 times of u of s is going to the second one so this is second equation it is first equation from this one you can write x1 dot x2 dot so x1 dot x2 dot can be written as x1 x2 plus u so x1 dot doesn't have u so that it will be simply 0 and it is x1 dot is equal to minus x1 plus x2 minus x1 plus x2 is minus 1 1 and x2 dot is minus x1 so this will be minus 1 and there is no x2 so 0 and there will be u that is 2 so minus 1 1 minus 1 0 and 0 2 this is so which one is the right answer you can think it is minus 1 1 minus 1 0 but even though you are going with this one both are going to be having b and d are having the same thing minus 1 1 minus 1 0 and this is 0 2 so both x1 dot are going to be having same value so we need to investigate y also to know the exact answer ok if both are different only one option is having this equation then you can directly pick you no need to go for the y of s but here y of s is also required because both x dots are going to be same for option b and option d so y of s now y of s is equal to 0.5 times of ok y of s is equal to you can write only going through the incoming arrows y of s is equal to 0.5 times of x1 dot x1 dot is nothing but x2 itself so i can write it as 0.5 times of x2 ok next again it is 0.5 into 1 0.5 times of x1 plus 0.5 times of x1 so you can write it as x1 first and x2 later 0.5 x1 plus 0.5 x2 so y can be written as 0.5 and 0.5 where it is x1 x2 there is no u so that d is equal to 0 so y is equal to 0.5 0.5 x1 x2 that is nothing but simply x so the right option for this question is d d is the right option because y is not valid for the option b so the signal flow graph has a state variable representation of the system as given in option d so the right answer is d